Hey guys, it's Annabelle on Wedding Wednesday on the Free M's where I talk about my journey to getting married. Where are you meeting your men? Women who are similar to me, where are you meeting your guys, your men, to date and to flirt with and to, 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 to plan a life with in your late 30s? In your late 30s, where are you meeting your guys? Is it a competition? Is that the right question to ask? I don't feel it's a competition. I don't feel it's a competition because women want different things in this world, I believe. Women want different things in this world. Some don't want to meet their Mr. Right, get married, and some are happy staying single. But this is about a journey to quality of life, sharing, sharing your life. I'm on a journey and I I did believe I'd possibly meet that guy. I actually did believe I'd possibly meet that guy at any stage in this journey. But there's no rush. Is it because I'm in my late 30s that my expectations of Mr. Right? Or is it because I was optimistic about it? Maybe my optimism might have hindered my online interaction. I don't know what it is. Am I holding myself on a, putting myself on a pedestal? I don't think I'm being obnoxious, patronizing, condescending, all those things. I don't think I'm being like that in this journey. I've just realized that. I'm tired of online dating. It's it's boring. It is actually boring. A boring way to, to chat to a guy. I thought I could try it again during lockdown because I thought that, that people would have more opportunity to chat on an online dating website. So I thought there'd be more frequent conversation, but there wasn't. Shall I give it a go again? Is it me? Is it me? I think I might put in the description box and I might put on the text in that Instagram post some of the conversation starters I'm thinking of it I don't know shall I? I don't like to believe that I am a boring woman to chat to no and but don't bear it in mind this is about meaningful this isn't about hookups casual flings this is about meaningful same page or am I just not ready to date yet? Do I need to spend more time in a single stage getting sexy? Do I need to? Or is it because my choice of how I want to get sexy isn't available to me at the moment? Is it that? Am I being superficial? I don't think I'm being superficial in this journey. I thought I'm single, why not enjoy me, enjoy my life, enjoy who I am. I think I did alright on my night out getting sexy. Maybe I need more nights out. Maybe I need more nights out getting sexy. But it's quite expensive. <laughs> who wants to wear the same out sexy outfit every Friday? I'm not in my late teens anymore or early 20s. That's the type of thing you do because your budget is just not of that pay grade to be lavishing it up. I think I did say to myself it'd be another six months before I have another night out in London because it's expensive. It's expensive, man. Maybe more nights out. <laughs> but I'm not going to meet my Mr. Right in a nightclub. I know I'm not. Because that means the guy's not on the same page as me. That is, I think the nights out getting sexy is about me embracing me and knowing that it's okay to be single. That's what I believed. And that's what I still believe. So I've got to get sexy and go to a straight club or a heterosexual club, am I? I think that is the next barrier that I need to knock down. That is the challenge I need to overcome. 
that's what I'm going to do. Any suggestions on any nightclubs that I can go in this single stage to, to just be me and be okay with being me, but not hiding behind a gay club because I don't believe I'm going to... Yeah. I don't know if they even exist. I feel like the old bitch in the club. I feel like I'm going to be that old bitch in a club. You know that sentence that Kerry Washington said in I Think I Love My Wife. I'm the old bitch in the club. I never thought I'd be the old bitch in the club. But is it okay to be the old bitch in the club on your own? <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys, for listening. I hope you tune in next week. And please do comment and share and like and because I'd like to know how it's going for you. This is not a competition. <laughs>